Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. My name's Tammy and I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today is part two of a two part series on my just bringing a new product to market. It's not really a new product, it's just a different scent of wax melts that I made, but I thought it would be fun to kind of go over the whole process of what it takes to just bring a new scent into my line. Last week I brought you the video of my decision making and my, I, I didn't show you my testing because I kind of came up with this idea after the fact, but I talked about that a little bit, uh, how I made the product. So I ended at that point once the products were made. And now today's video is going to be packaging, photography, and uploading that information to my website. Guys, if you haven't seen part one, I would recommend that you check that out. I'll probably link it somewhere around in here and then come back here to watch this part. And if you have seen part one, stay tuned. Buckle up guys. It's not that exciting, is it? <laughs> this isn't exciting. This is not the fun part of owning a business, but it's an important part. So I hope you stay tuned to watch. All right, guys, I brought you to my wax melt uh, folder on Canva. I've recently changed my design again, <laughs> but I wanted my wax melts and my candles to look a little bit closer to the same. So here's my candles. It's a little bit more of a simple label. The box here I think is easier for people to read than as opposed to this previous wax mill uh, label. Somebody pointed out that my GR is incorrect and it should just be G. So thank you to that person for pointing that out to me. I am trying to change all of those as I go. I don't know where I got GR at. And there for a while, I think I mistyped it and put GM. I can't seem to lose the desire for the uh, image. I know I can make my life so much more simple if I would just lose the image and just have wording, but I just, I just keep going back. To, I like the images, guys. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and copy, copy, make a copy of my falling leaves. And then I can open this up. And this is just what I do. I just, I just, copy and redo it copy and redo it so for my cranberry pumpkin i will come to elements and i'm going to search out cranberry pumpkin and see what happens i always go to photos because i do like the photos better i need glasses where's my glasses hang on i'm not i'm not loving any of this that i'm first seeing here looking at this i just that one's kind of cute let's see what we can do with that one it's simple Look, it's hidden behind my wording. Let me click on it and crop it though. And I can make it smaller and maybe I'll get some more of that scene. Maybe, I doubt that that's gonna work. It's still off center. So that's where I run into problems with having this big box here. I run into my, my issue of it covers up all of my image. I don't really want a jack-o'-lantern guys. Um, this one's not bad. Look at that. That's cute. And it fills up the whole uh, image. So let's see what this one was. Oh, I like that one. Now I will still crop it probably and make that a little smaller so you can see more of the image and hit done. I like that one. So now what I want to do is change my name here. And then everything else can stay the same. This box though, I don't want this brown. So I'm gonna click on the box. If you can see, I've got a couple different lines coming. I'm gonna click on the outside line. So that's the box. And you can see the color here. I come over here and I look at the photo colors. And this is where I choose my box color is from these photo colors. And I just kind of go through them. That's a little in your face. I don't want black. That's a little too dark. That's way too dark. I don't mind the green, but it doesn't have anything to do with cranberry or pumpkin. So I think I'm going to keep with this first box. So I will also change the line color here and I can change that to maybe that cranberry color. It's very subtle, but I kind of like that. And there we go. Cranberry pumpkin is done. That's all the time it took. So I'm going to change the name. And I'm going to save it by hitting share. I'm going to download it. 
I hate that my downloads are up here now. I'm getting used to it, but I really do hate it. I'm going to save as, and I put this in my uh, Google Drive labels. I need to get out of candles, so I'm going to go back to labels and do my wax melt labels. And I'm going to save it. All right, done. Now don't freak out that this is not updated. It says cranberry pumpkin and it still has the old uh, picture on it. If I was to click on this, it is my cranberry pumpkin. It just takes this system a while to update that image and the changes. But I'm just gonna go take make another copy and I'm gonna change this to shimmering snowflake. So I'm gonna go back up to elements and I don't think this is going to work a lot of times i just have to take this down to one word or play around with this a little bit Ooh, that's pretty oh that's kind of pretty too Ooh, look at that one guys and it has the blue that's in my in my wax melts itself let's try that oh that's it i think that's cute change the words that is the quickest i've ever designed but that just seems perfect to me um, I need to change my thing. Now you can see that this is going to be difficult, all these grays and lights, but let's see what this one does. I like that. I like that one too. I think I'm going to stick with this one because I like the contrast. And this line, I don't think any of these, well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Let's go back and see. Um... I kind of like that. I like the lighter. I'm a big on contrast. So I think this is perfect. I love this one, guys. Wow. That is the quickest I've ever done <laughs> an image. <laughs> All right, same thing. I'm going to download it, download again, and then I'm going to save it to my G Google Drive. So now I'm going to open up Maestro. And I'm going to go to my save design and I'm going to go down to wax melts and I just reuse the same template over and over and over. So I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to add a new design. Well, first let me add my images. So I have lots of folders in my images. I'm going to go down to wax and I'm going to upload my two new images. So I'm going to browse my files, my drive, labels, wax melts. Now I could just download this to my hard drive and then pull it up. You don't have to use Google Drive. You can use whatever you want to, just a folder on your hard drive. I've just always gotten in the habit of doing it this way because my past computers didn't have enough uh, memory to hold all of the labels that I wanted them to hold. So now I have these images in my folder. So now when I go back down to multi-design, I can add a new design and just click shimmering. I'm just doing, you don't have a lot of characters, so it's not that big of a deal. Let me see how many I feel like I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need 12. I made a lot of cranberry pumpkin. So let me just add a design and do cranberry pumpkin. I, I, if there's a way to hit all these boxes with one click, I would love to know it because I can't figure out how to do all of these boxes. <laughs> So two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm going to update that layout, and then I have to put my image on my new design because I added this design. Now I have to add the image to it. I just kind of click it, center it, make it a little bigger than the black box around it. That little thing went away. I'm good. I'm going to print. So I'm just I just open it from my browser. I don't don't need to save it for any reason. And then I have over here more settings. I have a preset that is my labels. So I'm gonna just do my label and hit okay. That takes it from the bypass tray. And then I can come back over here. I'm gonna close this because I'm fine on my printing. And Shimmering Snowflake, I'm gonna go ahead and add that image in. Go back to multi-design and so I'm going to edit so you can see I don't have any labels assigned to this I just attached my image to this label bar like pomegranate 
vanilla, I can click on that and I can see my pomegranate vanilla or my honey pear. So shimmering snowflake, I need to put it up here in my uh, layout here. So I'm going to go ahead and do I'm gonna start with that. I know I need at least 12 of my cranberry pumpkin labels. So I'm just gonna do this so I know I have my 12 that I need. And I'm gonna print. Even though I'm doing labels, I uh, tell the, the printer that it's a cardstock material and it just seems to print better. It's a trick my husband taught me. Normally your printer wants to know exactly what material because it depends on how much heat is applied to that material. But if you're not having good luck with uh, the design coming through appropriately, I was having a lot of splotchiness. I just changed it to cardstock and it worked out great. All right, guys, I have two sheets of labels and now I can go down and finish packaging up my products. So here are the labels that we just designed. Cranberry pumpkin and my shimmering snowflake. If there is any blue to be found in a label, my printer will find it and just magnify that color. So it has much more of a blue vibe than the computer had, but I'm still happy with it because it still matches the blue that's in my glitter on my wax melts. So I'm okay with it this time. <laughs> Normally I'm not. I will put on the front my label here. It's easier to do when they're not filled and that's kind of why I wanted to do the labels first but sometimes I go ahead and fill them and do this after the fact. And that is my warning label. All right let's see how we, how close we get to oh this is cranberry pumpkin. Where's my cranberry pumpkin? Oh it's over here. I'm gonna do my shimmering snowflake in here. Let me get some of these out of here. I want to have different colored pumpkins and I want to make sure I get some cranberries in there. I'm thinking there's not going to be a lot of pumpkins in here, maybe four, but let's try. See what that gives us. That's not quite two ounces, so I'm going to go ahead and do another pumpkin and let's throw in some cranberries. Perfect. 2.5. And I'm going to open this up so that they fall a little bit. I want that, you know, kind of seen. And that way they can also stand on my table. There you go. Cranberry pumpkin. All right, guys. I'm going to finish uh, getting all of my pumpkins done. I will be right back. There we go. Pretty happy with that. I'm going to get these all sealed up. Now let's see what I can get going with my snowflakes. All right, tear that back out. All right, two and a half ounces. How fun, guys. I think those are adorable. We're back up in my product, what do, what do I call this? I call it my craft room, okay? But it is my candle room, and it's my picture room, and it is my live streaming room, and it is my just junk room <laughs> for every other thing I do. Today, we're gonna take some product photos. I have my replica surfaces, like little stand I that I bought. I try to just use natural sunlight. So I am going to see how I want to stage the new wax melts that I have. Let's see what I can come up with. I'll be right back. All right, hopefully there's not a ton of glare over there. I just stack them on top of the stand, guys. That's kind of how I do it. Probably not the smartest thing to do because they do scratch. So for my fall one, I'm gonna do a coral bottom. And yeah, it's got a little dent right there. They're not indestructible. And I'm gonna do my twinkling lights in the background. They are like more of a champagne in color. You probably won't be able to see much there. I do have this light here. It's a, it's a uh, 
wax burner that I bought specifically for pictures. And I don't want to melt so much, but I do have the extras here that I thought I would stack in here like that and take a picture of the waxes, the pumpkins, up against this background. I need something else. I can't just have this alone. I need something else with it. Hang on. I do have this gingham that is kind of fall colors, but I don't know. And then maybe I'll just diagonal it like that. That may give it a little interest here. And I need something else. Hang on. Oh, you know what I need is my fall box from up in the attic. I have all of my decorations for fall. I'm not going up there. I'm by myself today. <laughs> I'm not going to go get those fall decorations. I need my pumpkins. <laughs> I may redo this, but I'll get it started now. And if maybe if I'm close enough to this, I don't have to worry about having a bunch in the background. All right, guys, I plugged it in. I'm going to turn it on for just a second, take a couple pictures, and then unplug it so they don't melt. Okay, guys, now that we've taken our pictures, now we need to edit them. So I do have Lightroom Classic on my computer, and I'm going to import all of those pictures I took just a bit ago. All right, so everything's pretty much imported. I'm going to go ahead and just develop. This is kind of how I do my pictures, guys. I take one or two pictures. I really don't spend a lot of time on this. I'd actually like to get rid of Lightroom because I don't want to pay for it, but I don't know what I want in its place at this point. So I'm just living with it. See, I'm off center here. I'm too far. I don't have enough space where my boards end to get a really good center picture on this one like I would like. Let's see what that looks like. I do a one-to-one -one when I do, this is not a Lightroom tutorial because I'm not very good at this. This is just kind of how I go through it. I usually have to rotate it because the, the uh, stand is always, always cockeyed. Uh, but that looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I have presets over here. I bought Bright and Airy and I bought a uh, product photography, just presets to help me with color. I just randomly scroll through here because it'll give you like a preview of what it'll look like. Like that looks not bad, but kind of dark on top. That looks a little washed out, but maybe kind of like that. It's a little softer. I like two. So I'm going to hit two, leave it at two. So then I do the next one. This is definitely going to be a little bit more center. I do have a very much more of a downward angle on this view. I kind of one to one, kind of crop it a little bit, get that centered. And then let's see if two works. I'm going to do three, I think two over here to the left. If you can see my, the, the preset two, the light is a little too glaring. I think three is just a little bit calmer. Let me look at this again. This is number two. Yeah, I'm gonna delete this one. I don't like it, it's off center. So this is the one I'm gonna keep. I always crop first. That's the very first thing I do. And sometimes what I'll do is I go through and crop before I do anything else, I will crop them. Then I see which one is the better of the crops not much difference this is just not so close so i'm going to keep this one and i'm going to delete this one and then look at my presets i don't like sometimes i just can't find one i like i'm going to stick with three i guess all right and i'm just going to go down the road let's see crop this one I always have to watch my my corners here 
because I get off off my boards. I'm not very good at the angles and stuff. I everything looks off to me. Bright and airy is usually way too bright for my product photography, but every once in a while there's a good one in there. I think three is where I'm at today. There's my pumpkin. I kind of like this with no presets. It's a little dark. I'm just gonna bring my exposure up just a tiny bit. I'm gonna call that good. All right, guys, I'm gonna shut you off so I can finish editing all of these pictures. And I'll bring you back when it's time for the next step of bringing this product to market. Pictures are done. Now it's time to get them onto my website. So I'm just on my product page here on my back end of my Shopify. I don't recreate the wheel, guys. I just come over here. I have all of, you know, clearly all of these different like collections of whatnot. I'm gonna go to wax melts. Currently I have these in here with a lot of variants in them. I'm thinking of taking it away from the variants. I'm finding it very difficult to be able to put um, multiple products in different product listings. I think that's it's hard on me to keep up with my inventory that way. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this because it has a lot of what I want in here. So I'm just gonna duplicate it. Oh, I forgot to change the name. Hang on, let me change the name. And I'm gonna upload my um, new pictures that one. I should have named it, but I did not. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that and I will add alternate text. Um, I honestly don't know how in detail to go with this. Sometimes I'm super, super detailed. Sometimes I just put the bare minimum. I don't know if I have to be that detailed. You know, with my soaps, I will add the color or the swirls and the position of the soap. I don't exactly know. <laughs> how detailed to be. Um, and I'm trying to, and I, I forgot to do that this time, but I am trying to put text on my picture before I download it. I meant to do that and I forgot, but I will go back and do that later. The price for this is $5. Get rid of the compare at. I'm only gonna put that I have three here. Uh, the weight is three ounces and I'm gonna put three and a half because they do weigh three ounces. I always cushion that just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna put my tags, fruity scent. There we go, good enough. And then for my description, what I will do is I get this at Micah's and More, so I will go over to Micah's and More website. Cranberry pumpkin. See if she has a uh, a bit of a tart cranberry, fall scent. So I'll copy that. And then I'll reword it a little bit. I'm gonna say this wax. And then I'm going to highlight this and I'm gonna do my rephrasing. I usually do playful. I do like to rephrase this as best as I can. Um, so it says tart cranberries, sweet fresh pumpkins, and warm vanilla beans come together for the yummiest fall scent ever. Cute, I love it, I'm changing it to that. 2.5 ounce wax. All right, and that's, that's it. Oh, I need to get rid of this. So I'm gonna keep this one as a draft, but I can duplicate this from here. I'm gonna duplicate it. And so this is pretty well good. I don't have to change any of this anymore. I will go ahead and add all of those in. And I have seven bags. The clamshells go to the boutique I'm in, so I don't add those, so I have seven available. I need to redo my alternate text. I'm gonna to go to Flaming Candle, and I'm gonna copy and paste that here, and uh, 
Um, I'm going to try that again. I think I need to get rid of this and I'm going to no other. I'm going to make sure that the system knows this is a wax melt we're looking at. Then if I rephrase it, it's going to recognize that. Eh, let me try that again. I'm not sure I love that. Yeah, that's cool. And then I am going to kind of maybe uh, change this to There we go. All right, I like that. I like the wording. It's fun, playful, all the good stuff. So I can now activate this, save. So now this is active on my website, guys. Go check it out. And if we wanna look at it, we can preview it. Preview, I should say. There we go. Fun, fun, fun. One down, another five to go. <laughs> Good night, guys. This is a long video. <laughs> it's a long one. I am editing it now, trying to get it down to less than 35 minutes. I think I've made it. <laughs> but I did have to really cut out a lot of the like fluff that I probably um, normally would have maybe left in my videos. Uh, so... Uh, each section, like the the canvas section and the Lightroom section and even the uploading on the website, all of those sections, I really try to condense down. If there's one of those that you feel like you would like for me to expand on and show you more in depth of either any of those, if I get a lot of feedback on that, I will do that. Other than Lightroom, I'm just not... I'm just not one to to show you Lightroom. <laughs> just, that's not me. <laughs> but uploading things to Shopify, looking at the back end of Shopify, if that's interest you, or Canva. I love doing Canva uh, tutorials. So if you want to see more of that, let me know. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to get off here and keep this portion really short. So I can try to get this under 30 minutes. So wish me luck on that. Stay tuned for the next video. Like if you liked it, and then I will see you next time. I hope. Bye.